This is my house, where Alauddin Khan lives. The grand old man of Indian music came to my house half a century ago to seek the patronage of the Raja of this once princely state, and it is his home. He lived next to the Raja's palace in this house. Today, the kingdom is gone and the house is abandoned. But Alauddin remains the uncrowned king of my heart. Alauddin's elder brother, Aftabuddin, was not only a flute player, but a worshipper of the goddess Kali. Alauddin himself is a devoutly religious man with a deep respect for all religions. He considers goddess Kali, called Sharada in Maiha, his protectress and the fountain of his art. Every year, on the day of Saraswati Puja, he offers worship at the temple of the goddess Sharada. His father, Shah Dukhan, a small landowner in the village of Shippur in Tripura state, was a well-known sitar player of his area. Alauddin wanted to learn music, but his parents insisted on his going to school. The pressure on him to devote himself to his studies became so great that at the age of eight, Alauddin stole some money from his mother's purse and left home to go to Calcutta. For months in Calcutta, he lived on one meal a day from a temple in Paturya Ghat and went on searching for a guru. Finally, he met the great Drupad singer Nulo Gopal. He disguised himself under a Hindu name and began to take lessons. Nulo Gopal, his guru, became so fond of him that he made the young Alauddin come and stay at his house. For some seven years, Alauddin remained under the training of this distinguished Dhupadiya. But now his family tracked him down and made him go back to Tripura for a while. Under pressure from them, he married a girl from a neighboring village. But late in the night of the wedding, Alauddin ran away from his home and his young wife and went to seek his first love, music. Soon he made his mark in the world of music and the famous actor Girish Ghosh took him under his wing at the Minerva Theatre. Here, the young Alauddin played the tabla for a monthly salary of 12 rupees. Later, he joined the court of the Raja of Muktagacha in Maimanshing and met Ahmad Ali Khan, the Sarod player, and became his disciple. When Ahmad Ali Khan returned to his home in Rampur, Alauddin went with him. In Rampur lived the great Wazir Khan of the Tansen family. Alauddin was anxious to meet him and to learn from him. It is said that once when Wazir Khan was out on a drive with the Nawab of Rampur, Alauddin threw himself before the carriage to attract his attention. For many years, Alauddin learned from this great Ustad. When his learning was complete, Wazir Khan sent him to the Raja of Maihar to become his court musician. Alauddin became a great teacher.
A versatile musician playing practically all instruments. With Uday Shankar, he went all over the world and charmed Western audiences with his music. For a while, Rabindranath Tagore took him to Shantiniketan. While in Shantiniketan, Rabindranath conferred on him Deshi Kuttam. In later years, Ustad Alauddin Khan was awarded the Padma Bhushan by President Rajendra Prasad. Under the stern discipline of the master, his children and his pupils became the famous musicians they are today. His gifted daughter, Anna Purna. His son, Ali Akbar.
His son-in-law, Ravi Shankar. His nephew, Bahadur Khan. energy Son Ashish Khan. son Dhanesh.
Indra Neel, Sharon Rani, and so many others. Around himself, he built up the greatest musical family of modern India, whose parallel is hard to find anywhere else. With all his glory, Alauddin remains the simple, devout man of Maya. a century, he has been the patron saint of Maiha, not only a man of music, but a man of God. Every morning, he goes to the bazaar to buy the food that his wife will cook for him. The famous Maiha band has grown old with him. Sometime after the First World War, he had gathered around him a group of orphan boys and trained them and made them into the famous Maiha band. of Indian music, which he began with this band, has remained the source from which all later attempts derive themselves. Ravi Shankar's Betar Vadya Vrind, Timir Baran's orchestra, and even Vishnu Das Shirali's music for government newsreels and documentaries, bear the stamp of the pioneering work of this Maiha band and its master.
men of the Nihar band are as close to his heart as his own children. His famous family and his many pupils have spread them of centenarian, the grand old man of Indian music, Alauddin Khan. <laughs> 